Hello everybody, my name is Joey. I'm part of the Chart Guys team. I've been a full-time trader and technical analyst for seven years. I'm here to talk about some crypto as Bitcoin plows through all-time highs. And now the question is, what alts are fixing to pop next? We've been seeing rotation in the space with alts taking turns, getting solid runs, and I've got a list of alts that I'm watching to potentially catch some rotation. Along with that, we're running a free trial on our Trader Pro Alert system, some more details on that later in the video. Let's get on into it and look at some Bitcoin. So we knew monthly 12 EMA was our key support here. And after holding and grinding for several months, we've confirmed the monthly bull flag into all time highs. And we got that best case scenario of obviously the all time high break, but more importantly, the acceptance above 74K previous all time high. And Bitcoin bulls are seeing plenty of follow through. So right now we've just got a daily stair step so I'm going to keep it simple personally, and as long as the higher low every daily candle pattern is forming, then bulls maintain tight control. They love to see this big green day after a red day yesterday because it was looking like daily consolidation was shaping on up. We had a clear 4-hour 12 EMA rider. Once that was lost, bears failed to confirm the downtrend, and now bulls are bouncing right back up to resistance, creating room for another 4-hour higher low compared to 86 66.8 next time we do consolidate and that keeps bulls in full-on control so as long as the low of today holds tomorrow then no consolidation is shaping up we do have to be mindful that the broad market had an exceptionally weak day today nq down almost two and a half percent es down 1.3 percent so none of that is bleeding into crypto at the moment but we'll have to see if that does bleed in over the weekend if that does bleed in over the weekend and we're looking for an hourly oversold back burner on Bitcoin. This is certainly the size move to look for that. So when I'm scouting an hourly oversold back burner, go to the hourly time frame, turn on my RSI projection tool, get out my horizontal line, drop it on the chart. Oops, I already have it marked up here. So I'll drop it on the chart, double click, label it hourly oversold. Um, let me get rid of this next one down here. We'll redraw that fresh. So this would be the level that if we were to top out here and come down, hourly oversold would be right about there. So it's helpful to help you plan out your trade and give yourself a zone of interest, as well as having the line on the chart. No matter what time frame you're looking at, you'll know that that is that hourly oversold level. So drop the line on the hourly, then go to a larger time frame and look for some EMA confluence. You don't really want to just be hitting hourly oversold in no man's land. Oftentimes in crypto, you'll either see it align with the 12 hour 12 EMA or the daily 12 EMA. So in this context, we have confluence with the daily 12 EMA. So I'll get another line, drop it on the daily 12 EMA, label that. And then I know that if we start to pull back, I'm not making a game plan in the heat of the moment. I have my area that I'm interested in. And then from there, however you go about playing it is up to the individual. If you like smaller time frame stair steps, if you like to scale in across a range, you know, that's going to vary from person to person. But the important thing is knowing what are we looking for and then labeling it and being prepared for that. So that's the next area of interest for a dip buy on Bitcoin. And as long as bulls hold daily 12 EMA, then that consolidation is healthy. If hourly oversold marks a daily higher low, it's the strongest trend that bulls could hope for. So Bitcoin, super strong, just all time high resistance overhead, potential for a tightening range into the weekend if bears were to defend 91,790 or 93,265. And if that were to happen, if we were to see Bitcoin go sideways over the weekend, we would want to see Bitcoin dominance drop, showing us that alts are popping and playing some catch up. So we have seen rotation in the alt space, and essentially many names had this same setup where we had a tightening range at the lows and then they're breaking off one by one and that's what you love to see so while we're talking about that let's just go through well first we'll check in on xlm because that was the top scout last video and it was the same thing of the tightening range that we were looking at i believe on the weekly weekly tightening range bull break big time follow through so this is what you want to see from any coin that has not popped off already like that. We had ADA was another uh, tightening range pop off, big follow through. So now the hunt is on for who could be next. So let's go through some charts 
that have similar setups here. So we have ASTR is tightening range, basing down at the lows, hasn't gotten rotation yet, so that is on watch. And what you can do is set your alerts at resistance so that if it does break, you can know that, all right, I'm gonna try to buy a five minute higher low after this. We've got ICP, very similar, tightening range, has not popped yet. We've got GMT, very similar, tightening range, hasn't popped yet, and a little bit of relative strength compared to those other two names that we've looked at. We've got OPUSDT, tightening range, has not popped yet. Let's see, one inch, oh, I forget when I do one inch, I gotta go over here. One inch, come on, one inch, USDT. Same setup, you get the picture with the setup. CRV, another one, very similar here. And what else we got? KUJI, which they had the, the fundamental stuff, um, you know, let's see, back in July. But sometimes you'll see these fundamental events mark long-term bottom. So if this tightening range breaks bull and gets a solid monthly bounce, then, you know, bears might be hard-pressed to get back down to those lows. So even though it has some overhang, certainly something still worth watching. And then what do we got? Ton. So tons a little bit of a different setup here. Is this, is that what I have? Hmm. Give me a second, that's not looking like what I had. We'll, uh, we'll look at, uh, we'll see if we can come across that later. There's something on this watch list. Ton USDT. Oh, it's the Bybit chart that has the history. So ton, looking for a monthly higher low, riding monthly 12 EMA, tightening range. So same thing so watching all of these coins to potentially be the next ones to catch some rotation and see what we saw names like eth do tightening range bull break and that's a big old monthly bounce for eth though we're still quite far from monthly resistance we got 39.73 and 4093 and eth bulls still just in the doghouse before we look at the usd pairing we'll just look at the ratio and that's a nice move that was the breakout you wanted to form a healthy daily higher low into higher high and keep the show on the road and it just bled it all back so my sentiment of can't get too interested in eth usd until we get um, at the very least over weekly 12 ema in the ratio but ideally the first weekly uptrend in months and months and months so eth continues to just be relatively weak compared to peers that being said we're still looking for a daily higher low. We're testing daily 12 EMA. But that being said, we've got to ask ourselves, if Bitcoin starts to consolidate on the daily, how's a name like ETH going to fare given that it's already been consolidating for three days here at this point? So we'll see. First, got to see when Bitcoin consolidates. One thing we can say about ETH USD is that these four hour lower lows are starting to lack follow through. So if bulls want to get a daily higher low set, they're going to need to break 3131, get over four hour 12 EMA, and then we would need to be cautious of the potential of a daily lower high just due to the sheer percentage pullback from here. But a lot of that will depend. Does ETH BTC see a strong bounce? Um, if ETH BTC sees a strong bounce, then higher highs could be in the cards and Bitcoin would likely need to stay strong at the highs for that to be the case. So I know everybody loves ETH and it's a staple in the crypto space, but it's still just a turd compared to peers right now. So talking about turds, LTC, seeing weekly higher highs, weekly uptrend has been our guide for a while as we get this monthly bounce underway. And that's just gonna continue to be the case. And we've got a daily uptrend, so room for a daily higher low, room for a weekly higher low. And this brings up a, an important point here. Uh, everybody's looking to buy dips, obviously. And the question is, what dips are you looking to buy? Well, you gotta ask yourself, do you wanna be aggressive or conservative? More aggressive traders are looking at dips on smaller timeframes. More conservative traders are going to wait for dips on larger timeframes. So while an aggressive trader might be doing an hourly higher low, um, a more patient trader is going to do four hour higher low. The next level of patience is going to do daily then the next level is going to do weekly. Um, so you got to ask yourself what you are about and you don't have to necessarily just pick one. You can try the aggressive bounce and if that doesn't work, then you stop out and then try the next tier of bounce. The one thing you don't want to do is scale into five minute oversold for an hourly higher low and have that end up leading 
into daily consolidation and then you switch from playing a five minute oversold bounce to scaling all the way to hourly oversold or something. It might sound crazy, but it happens and I've done that a handful of times. So you don't want to do that. So what else we got here? Um, we have got uh, some new coins. This is always the, once we get euphoria in the space, it's always kind of fun when you get these new little uh, low float coins that can just see some serious moves. So this is one folks have been trading in the uh, chart guys chat room, peanut. And we've just got a four hour tightening range on the four hour 12 EMA. So healthy consolidation there. If it breaks bull, the show goes on. If it breaks bear, then bulls will be looking for a daily higher low. And without much price history, you kind of just need to lean on the intermediate trends a little bit more with a name like this. So who else do we want to talk about? Let's, let's talk about Doge. Um, so Doge, obviously an exceptional move um, with the uh, whole Elon thing helping drive this move. And if we look at the monthly, we V-shaped to new highs. So we know a monthly lower high was the most likely scenario. We were talking about it. But as always, if we're going to see the less likely scenario play out, we're going to often be accompanied by increasing volume. You got your increasing monthly volume, went to higher highs, and now we're pretty much just looking at 44.83 and then not much until all-time highs there. So similar to Bitcoin, we've just got a daily stair step. That is the guy for full-on bull control. Once that's lost, we're going to look for our hourly oversold back burner. And as long as we keep the daily uptrend intact, then the weekly move remains strong. And even when we see weekly consolidation, we've got tons of room for a weekly higher low. So we are seeing rotation in the space, even just within the little subsectors within the crypto space. So like today, you know, Doge led the way up for the meme coins over the past week. But now it's kind of cooling off and we've got Bonk seeing a nice move on up. We had Pepe see a really nice move two days ago. So we're just seeing names get their turn being in the spotlight. And that's one of the nice things about having a ratio watch list. You can just go ahead, come in here and sort by biggest gains on the day. So we know Algo BTC or Algo is catching rotation today. So we go to Algo USD and check out what's going on. And there is one of your lead bulls here on the day. So massive day, let's see, probably just hourly 12 EMA rider. Um, hourly 12 EMA rider. So bulls have full on control as long as that is the case here on Algo. And this is another one of our tightening ranges. The tightening range, getting the break, now catching some rotation. So we saw Doge, we saw ADA, um, we, we saw you know, ETH, plenty of names have already broken it. And we've got that list that we went through at the beginning of the stream looking for essentially exactly what Algo is doing right now. So on the note of ADA, um, let's go look at ADA BTC because as we've been talking about for a while now, watching for a yearly higher low here. So at this point, it's just a monthly bounce. We're just testing monthly 12 EMA, but if we go to the yearly chart, we can see this is a big old equilibrium, low, high, higher, low, lower, high. Anything over this 39.6 would be a higher low. Ultimately going to need a monthly uptrend to look to shape up a yearly higher low. But if that happens, ADA will come back into some level of supremacy or relative strength. You can just call it within the crypto space. It's been turd for a few years, but I'm on the watch for ADA to come back to life because of this ratio chart here. So let's see what else we got on the list. Let's check out Turbo. Um, Turbo USDT. And we'll go to the weekly. Hmm, what was, I think I got Turbo on another exchange. Yeah, here we go. More history. So Turbo, it's close to all time highs and it's a tightening range on the daily and it's riding the weekly 12 EMA. So it hasn't been doing much over the last week, but on watch for that to potentially catch a fresh wave and potentially confirm a weekly bull flag. What else did we have from last stream? Sui um, was testing weekly 12 EMA and that was right here. I keep saying stream, but it was a, a video, but huge follow through, continues to be a lead bull in this space. We're up and over 
that potential uptrend resistance line and bulls love to see it and let's see probably 12 hour uptrend going to be the guide here yeah 12 hour 12 ema 12 hour uptrend so in this environment it, it can feel hectic because there's so many coins doing all sorts of stuff and where do you buy and this that and the other thing my favorite way to do it is find the ema that you're riding and set alerts on a time frame slightly uh, smaller than that so that you're notified ahead of time so if we're looking to know when SUI tests the 12 hour 12 EMA maybe I would do like a, an 8 hour 12 EMA alert or a 10 hour 12 EMA alert so that alert goes off and then you know you're getting in a zone of interest and then you zoom in and see what kind of entry techniques the market is making available to sensibly try to make a play on that so that is pretty much that. Let's check in on Solana, actually. So Solana did break um, to new highs. It confirmed the monthly bull flag, but we're not seeing much follow through at this point. We're not seeing much follow through, and the reason we're not seeing much follow through, we'll look at it on the weekly. Tightening, 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 bull break, not a ton of follow through at this point. Well, oftentimes the ratio chart will tell you what could be going on, and that is the case here on Sol. So we go to Sol BTC, and we're still tightening. So if we want to see Seoul USD catch a true wave of rotation and be in the limelight for a bit, we need to see Seoul BTC break this tightening range to the upside. So one thing that is worth noting here is right now Seoul BTC is near the lower end of this range. So if Seoul BTC sees a solid daily bounce and works its way back up, even to just continuing to tighten within here, Seoul USD could then be poised to confirm a daily bull flag and see some decent follow through on that bull flag. So still certainly paying attention to Seoul with the ETF uh, talks floating around, but got to see Seoul BTC corroborate some upside if we want a real ripper. So what else we got? Pepe going to be on hourly oversold back burner watch. Let's see. Let's map this up. We'll just... Uh, do another exercise of mapping these up. So you get your RSI projection tool. The indicator I use is RSI levels by Abdami. And we'll do hourly oversold. And then let's see, is it a 12 hour 12 EMA or? It is. Um, yeah, it's closer to the 12 hour than the daily. So we'll just mark them both up though. So there is 12 hour 12 EMA and then We'll see what the daily 12 EMA is looking like. We'll get another line there. So if you really want to be uh, conservative with giving yourself a wide range to work with, then you can just view this whole thing as your area of interest. Not all the way up there. Let me bring this down. And then we will get our normal box on. So that could be your whole area of interest. And then once you're in there, you're taking cracks at 15 minute trend changes, five minute stair steps, whatever your technique is. So one thing that I do want to talk about here is historical RSI levels. So we know that in blue skies, things can get a lot crazier than we anticipate and then, than uh, anybody can envision or dream. But one thing to be cautious of is historical all-time high RSI levels. Those often do still hold true in blue skies. And when you can get, say, daily historical RSI overbought and have that stacked with four hour or hourly, it's the super stack that Dan's often talking about when you have big time extension, whether it be to the upside or the downside on multiple time frames at the same time, that shows that it's, it's, it's just a very difficult move to sustain. So in this environment, I'm certainly keeping eyes on historic RSI levels, and that doesn't necessarily mean short, but what that can mean is look to take some profits and potentially reload lower if you are in a bull position and if you are um, an advanced uh, and experienced counter trend trader, then that is something that you can use um, to satisfy your masochistic tendencies of playing against the trend in a euphoric bull market. So we'll see, what does Bitcoin do over the weekend? Does it tighten on up? Does that give alts a turn to have some more fun 
does Bitcoin dominance continue to just favor Bitcoin? We haven't talked about that yet because it's been the same thing every video for months at this point. Two week 12 EMA. I know we all want alt season. We all want alt season, but that is not coming as long as two week 12 EMA is support. So next time we consolidate on the two week back to this 12 EMA, that could be a nice leg for alts as long as it's not Bitcoin dropping harder than altcoins and rather altcoins just going up more than Bitcoin while Bitcoin either goes sideways or goes up more gingerly. Um, you know, you, there can be great opportunity just on two week consolidation. But if we're talking like 2021 style alt mania, you need to see Bitcoin dominance just plummet. So going to continue to keep eyes on it, but nothing's changing here. And it continues to be the Bitcoin show. All right. That's all I've got to say. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. We'll be checking in throughout and certainly checking in next week as we look to see how far can Bitcoin bulls take it. Seems like 100K uh, is on the menu here. Do we consolidate before that? Um, do we uh, not get there? It seems just so unlikely when you get close to a key psychological level like that. Everyone's kind of gunning for it. Um, but time will tell. Not making any predictions, just being reactive with all of this as we always are because that is a way when you have a systemic way of going through the charts and you are reactive rather than predicative. Um, it's, it keeps you on track, keeps you in line, keeps you on the right side of things and that's just going to continue to be the approach. So hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.